Welcome back, folks. Well, you know, when you've got a YouTube video, often you might just want the music off it and you want to strip it into a, an MP3. Well, some of you might know a little trick you can do, which is built, seems to be built into YouTube now, where you just um, get rid of the UBE and leave the rest of the URL alone. And then it gives you the option of um, you can download the um, MP3 file, but it just gives you the low quality, 128 milli uh, kilobits per second. Um, you can also download an MP4. I think I think that's also you need to upgrade for that. So if you want a higher quality, you also need to upgrade. So I thought maybe what I need to do is to um, is to make my own one. And so this is my own. YouTube video because I know if I use somebody else's somebody might get upset or copyright or something like that so this is um, you know that AI jazz tunes I'll just put them on you should be able to hear them <laughs> well, it's not very long admittedly but it's like uh, four minutes or something like that and suppose I wanted to download that onto MP3 format. Now I've got that anyway, but I mean, supposing I did, how am I going to do that? Well, really, this um, chat GPT thing is the bee's knees. All you need to do is ask. So I did this just on the spur of the moment, actually. And I said, can you provide code in Python that makes a YouTube video and strips off the audio part and saves it to an MP3 file? It must have a GUI interface. I didn't want to go on typing in, you know, file names like the last time. So just get off to a good start and make sure everything's in a GUI. And it says, sure, you can. We need this these uh, libraries. So the great thing about Python is it may not be the fastest language on the planet. There's no question about that. It's not that fast. But it seems to have a huge selection of media libraries and things that people have made. And that makes it very useful language for a great many things, especially multimedia type applications. As I say, the speed's not brilliant, but if you're on a PC or something, does it really matter? You know, it's, it doesn't matter that much. So you need this thing called PyTube, which is a library. Movie Pi, Tkinter, that's the thing for the graphic or the GUI. I've used them before. And uh, that's just operating systems to manage file paths. And then it just talks about how to, how to install them using the pip command. But I don't really need to do that on my environment, which is the PyCharm, I think it is. Is it PyCharm environment? Yeah, I don't need to do that. Anyway, then gives me the code, which I beautifully put in. Uh, and I ran it, and I got this runtime error, 400 bad requests, and it says, I knew immediately what the problem was. It says it's a common issue with PyTube. There's steps to fix it, and actually, although it's not there because I chose one of them, it gave me two options, and I chose the slightly more complicated option, which was I had to edit PyTube and um, re replace the function get throttling function name in cipher.py, my god, uh, with updated code. And although it sounds complicated, it wasn't really that complicated. And give me the code. I did that, and it still didn't work. Um, so what's yeah? And give me some upgrade, upgrade it script, but it still didn't work. So still get the same error. So then it said use YTDLP instead. And actually, I've had a great deal of success using this. So this is another library YTDLP. Um, I don't know what, yeah, it's just yt-dlp, and then it gave me a listing, and uh, it's not actually that complicated, it's very small, uh, but it's like, like a lot of these things, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, it's probably take you forever. It's using ffmpeg, I, shouldn't, I should stress that, so I'll give you the listing with the um, video here in the comments section, because you can't put it, it's probably, it might be too long, I'm not sure if I'll get it into the the main thing. If I can get into the main thing, I will. Otherwise, I'll put it in the comments. Um, 
yeah ffmpeg i mentioned that in the previous video you need to install that on your computer so i'm guessing it wouldn't work without that but fortunately i i had it anyway and uh, this is an open source thing for for handling videos and that's really useful gets a url um, and gets the directory and then it yeah so finds your right directory and then it sticks it into this thing called um, ytdlp and then youtube dl that's just a c plus like a like c plus plus object orientated type extension isn't it yt underscore dlp dot youtube dl and it's got message boxes and so on now i did this i'm quite surprised that it worked actually then i just um, got it to do a couple of other things i got it to make it <coughs> a little bit prettier put colors in and then i got it to um, so you can vary the bit rate so the bit rates are as follows uh, that's the lowest one 32 kilobits per second I don't think anybody uses that for speech maybe it'd be okay a lot of people well we used to in the old days use 20 years ago 128 kilobits per second um, some people used 160 and, and so on and you can get it up to the highest quality which is 320 kilobits per second so I needed to be able to do that otherwise there's not much point because you can use the YouTube Y out thing. But it's actually very good. So I was very surprised how good it is. So let's give it a shot. And I like to put it in an executable so I don't have to bother. So here it is, YouTube MP3 converter. And there it is. Now I'm going to get the URL of my these two jazz songs. Do control C on that one and then go back to this guy and just do control V for paste. It's set for 192, that'll do. Uh, download and convert. It just selects a directory. So you select that. And although you could put out it asks later, you can put a progress bar in. I didn't think there was much point. It does come up with not responding. Uh, but it, there it is it's done it already so it's not a really hard to, to do it and it shows you the uh, where is it it's called two jazz so oh, there it is two it gives it the same name two ai jazz tunes there's a little delay before it gets going <laughs> And just to check that they would work for longer well this is very short that one i downloaded a, a an episode of the bill and that stripped the audio off that i don't know if i should play that because it might um oh i'll just play a bit of it that's the beginning okay so that that that's 20, 20 over 20 minutes so it works with long files without any problems so this is actually rather nice and rather useful um so that's uh, just what i wanted to show you today and i'll say i will provide a, a listing thank you very much <laughs>